Now let me do this integral by two methods. As I said before, you know, the, the integral is not that really difficult, but the methods, the methods that we are learning is important. So because uh, when you have a basic techniques, you can easily apply to some uh, more complex integral. Now, this integral, <coughs> while well, I start with the substitution, let x be 2 theta. Then this becomes a integral 1 minus sine 2 theta, isn't it? And 2 d theta. And the boundary will change to from 0 to half pi. Okay, so this one is equal to from 0 to half pi. And this one, this one is equal to this. Uh, sine square plus cosine square theta, that is 1, minus 2 sine theta, cosine theta, and uh, d theta, I've, I have a 2 in the, two in the beginning, in the front, I move this 2 there, right? And this one is equal to 2, <coughs> This is a perfect square, right? This is sine minus cosine square. So after square root, it becomes absolute value. Sine theta minus cosine theta. Yeah. Correct. D theta, yeah. Now, then, then what? Well, absolute value, we are taking the positive value, right? Between 0 to 2 pi, a uh, half pi, uh, how do we determine the value, the positive or negative sign of uh, this uh, difference that we can split into two? I'll get it to again. Sorry. <laughs> this is uh, from here to half pi. Now, no, this is not good because I have to separate into two parts. The first one is zero to quarter pi. And uh, then quarter pi to half pi. Yeah. Now I separate this one into two. The reason is obvious that when the theta is between zero to quarter pi, which one is the bigger? Of course, cosine is the big. Cosine is the greater than the sine theta, right? Therefore we write cosine theta minus sine theta. Between this interval, this is positive. And between that interval, sine is bigger. Sine, sine theta minus cosine theta. That will be positive. Okay. See, because absolute value, you now we cannot uh, use uh, for one single integral. We have to separate into two and I guarantee both are positive. So this one equal to two. This is a sine. This integral is a positive cosine, right? Yeah, from zero to quarter pi. And plus two. This integral is a negative cosine. This one is a positive sign, it's a negative sign. 
from uh, quarter pi to half pi. And this one is equal to two. Uh, this is a root, root two over two one. This is a root two over two. This is zero. This is a negative one. That's for the first one. The second one will be two times half pi. This is zero. Yeah. This will be zero. This will be this is a zero. This will be negative one. This will be root root two over two positive. This will be root two over po root two over two. Root two over two one. Yeah. So therefore, this one is equal to two. Root two minus one. This will be two. Uh, root two minus one. Well, excuse me for my writing. So this will equal to four. Root two minus one. So that is a. Uh, that is a result of uh, this integral by method one. Okay. Now method two. Method two for this integral uh, from zero to one minus sine x dx. Okay. Method two. Uh, I I do this way. Mm. Uh, this is from me, zero to zero to pi, right? This will be one is a sine half x square plus cosine square over half x minus this will be two sine half x cosine half of x, right? And the dx as a dx as I write to d half x. Okay. So the integral becomes becomes uh, take two out, two taking out, and uh, the inside will be from zero to quarter pi. No, sorry, zero to pi. This will be absolute value of a sine half x minus cosine half x, absolute value d half x. Okay, there's no, nothing here. Now, here, because we, this is a sine half x minus cosine half x squared. So after square root, See, you take absolute value. Now, uh, then same reason uh, we 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 divide these two integrals. Well, from one integ one integral is uh, zero to half pi. And uh, plus the other one is half to pi. This one I, I split into two intervals. So here's zero to half pi from half pi to this one. Okay. For this value, now between half 
zero and a half pi, which one is bigger? Well, obviously the cosine is, is, is greater, right? So the cosine half x minus sine half x. That will be positive. That will be positive. For this second part, and the sine is uh, sine half is greater. Therefore, sine half x minus cosine half x d half x. Uh, I, ho I hope uh, it, it follows. Uh, then this one is equal to well, this this integral with integrate with respect to half x, right? This will be well. This will be sine, right? Sine half x. This will be cosine half x. Don't forget, we are integrate with respect to half x. Therefore. This is uh, from zero to half pi plus two two. This integral is a negative, right? Negative cosine half x. This integral is a positive sine half x from half pi. To pi, pi. Then this one is a uh, this, this is a quarter pi. Uh, root two over two. This will be root two over two. This will be minus one. Either for for the first one, the second one, half. This will be quarter pi. Cosine negative is the root two over two, right? This was this will be negative one. Yeah, negative one. This will be zero. Uh, this will be root two over two. This will be root two over two. No, this is zero, right? I'm sorry, this is zero because cosine half pi is zero. So it end up with the, this is the same thing, okay? This would be four, we'll go two over. So you get the same answer. Okay. Excuse me so for the, the messy writing, but you can easily adjust yourself that that is the same, same answer. But see, as I said before, the methods, you know, the methods is important. Thank you for your watching.